Hello YouTubers, this is the Mooney here today and it's been quite a while and uh, I'm going to be doing my part 9 of video game, I guess library of 2019 because I realized I didn't do this and I didn't do a few others uh, when it came to that. So I'm going to actually do it by category so I might do it where it's like rhythm games, RPGs, uh, fighting games, and then a little bit other stuff like mishmash in between trying to figure out actually what I should start off with let's see what about we start off with kind of I'll lead into the best stuff more last so like during more high school time I got more in you know uh, into rhythm games not in the sense of like Project Diva because that's when I didn't actually know yet Project Diva existed until 12th right year so but before that though i got into more stuff like guitar hero rock band from a lot of my other uh, friends that would play it at school and that's why i got into it so I'm trying to see here let's see we got rock band one and two and yeah there's just a day where i'm just super lazy i just really need to take all these stickers off of it but besides that, I have two of the guitars, one rock band guitar and one guitar hero guitar. And then for guitar hero, let's see here, guitar hero world tour. And this is probably not the best looking one because the actual label looks like it's been hit by sun and it's kind of crinkling up behind the plastic. But besides that, this one's probably my favorite one right here is the guitar hero Metallica that came out. Am I excellent when playing Guitar Hero Rock Band? No, but it was a whole bunch of fun and because I saw a lot of my other friends playing it that's when I started getting into um, playing it as well. They also had drum sets too but then those take up a whole bunch of room and I preferred if I did get one of those accessories just to get the guitars because they were easier to kind of put away like to the side of the room or underneath the bed or something or in a closet than getting like the drum set for the game. Let's see here, and technically this is a track pack volume 2, but I'm trying to remember if this was just actually like on the physical disc or if you needed to, if this was like a digital, but it has the disc in it. I'm trying to remember, I probably used it before, but I'm a horrible memory, but I got it because it was $1.95. You can see it from the faded sticker up at the top, that's why. And then at one point too, closer to my last final years at, at high school and stuff, uh, we're gonna call her Jay, but Jay uh, got me into DJ Hero, cause she actually, I, I went to her house one time, she had the accessory and we were playing it at her house, and I'm like, oh, this is really neat. I've, I've never, cause I had been playing Guitar Hero and Rock Band, I, I was like, oh, this is interesting, you get to be your own DJ, so I ended up getting one of the, the, the DJ uh, turntables and uh, plugging it in and, and playing it and stuff. But yeah, definitely the, the second one has uh, more better uh, soundtracks and stuff than the first one, which is really good. I love to see it whenever a game has like a, a series and you know the, the second one then the third is better than the, the original first one. But yeah, this is more for, for this kind of rhythm based ones. Rhythm based game, sorry. I have some other ones that you guys know that I already play based off, you know, if you guys have watched my, my channels that I've that I do a go-to for for those rhythm based games but I'm kind of leave those for the last since they're, those are more my favorites let's see here I might do this I ended up getting for the fact that one of my coworkers had played it I think he said that he really didn't care for it too much but one of my friends played it and she really loved it um, unfortunately I want to say that maybe I played a good 10 hours into Final Fantasy 13, but I kind of stopped getting into it or I didn't find it really that that great. Um, but I, I tried to play it as long as possible. I'm really hoping that maybe I can give it another try again just to see if maybe it was just me when it came to the game. I know for this game it's more of a hit or miss. Some people really like it and some people don't really care for it. And there's like this plastic, there's this like straight cut line on the plastic of the box that, that kind of uh, 
it has me wondering what sliced through it. Uh, but regardless of that though, uh, let me just show you Final Fantasy 13 and 13 uh, number 2 right here. But yeah, I technically haven't even played this one if I've just played over 10 hours of this one and stopped. But I tried, but I will try again just to see if it was just me when it came to this series here. Let's see. Next up on my list that I have to the side right here is we're actually going to take out we have God of War so God of War 3 excellent beautiful game love it uh, I had played a bit of the the place uh, the PSP uh, versions of the games too I didn't I owned one of them and then the other one I think I played on my friend's PSP before, sometimes on breaks in high school. But then later on, I ended up getting uh, God of War Ascension. As well as, this is the one that I was really looking forward to getting was the God of War Saga Collection. Five full games in here. God of War 1, 2, 3. Includes also, I think, the two PSP games as well. I think it does. It says five games. What's kind of weird though is that it says on disc one God of War 1 and 2 and then the disc 2 says just God of War 3. I'd have to double check and see. But it looks like I got this in 2018 because I got GSP from GameStop. On the inside there was a sticker for it. So over a year ago I had gotten that one. I like to get games that are more also collection games. So besides that one, that's also a collection. When I get to it, I'd like to play this one, the Devil May Cry HD Collection. And I think this was also re-released -re -re again on PlayStation 4, if I'm not mistaken. If I am, my bad. But I, I'm pretty sure I saw this again on PS4, the HD remastered for the three games. But I love getting it whenever it has, you know, two, three, four, five games, whatever, on one disc. It's more cost-effective. You know, especially if you're running out of space or have a cramped space in your room, then that's the go-to way to do it. Besides that, though, I feel bad because I need to sit down to actually play the Batman games. My fiancé really likes playing these games, and um, I feel kind of bad not actually <laughs> playing through them, honestly. I do feel bad. Uh, I had the... I'm pretty sure this is the second one. I think I had the first one. But now it's my brother's. But uh, regardless, um, here's here's this one right here. This is the just the greatest hits version of the game where it's in the red case and everything. If you do enjoy a good game that has um, more of decision making, where whatever decision you make, it, it changes the story of the game, the outcome and everything. I would highly recommend Beyond Two Souls. It is a classic. And also uh, Heavy Rain as well. I'm going to go fly by some of the rest of this, guys, because I realize I'm at the 8 minute mark. And normally my videos last for like 15 minutes before the video cuts off. So, Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations. I just honestly got this because it was dirt cheap. I remember playing Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 and I really enjoyed that one and I think I honestly probably got this at a pawn shop. Probably paid maybe $7.99 or at least no more than $9.99 for this game. And for it being that cheap I thought why not. I enjoyed the third one so I thought I would enjoy one of the more earlier versions of the game's series. Dynasty Warrior 6. This is kind of odd since I think this is the only Dynasty Warrior game that I have here. Uh, I got it for $12.99. But I'm trying to remember if the reason why I got this was because if I got it with like two or three other games, it ended up making it cheaper when I got it at GameStop, and that was probably why I got it. Let's see. Two fighting games. Uh, Blaze Blue, continu uh, yeah, Continuum Shift, and Calamity Trigger. These are really good, enjoyable fighting games right here. 
can have a good story to him too. Tales of Symphonia Chronicles. So this one has the original one that was on a GameCube that was remastered. And then the one that was released on the Wii system, Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World. And I know a lot of people kind of put down Dawn of the New World. I know, it, of course, it didn't have as much, uh, you know, money to it. It's not one of the, the core games in the Tales uh, series and so forth. But I enjoyed uh, Symphonia. Uh, hate me all you'd like if you think it's horrible, but to me it was good. To me, that was my first Tales game. So if that was the worst of the series and I liked it, then um, it's pretty much like you've already reached bottom and so you, the only place you can go is up, so... <laughs> Uh, Tales of Zillia. I know there's Tales of Zillia Part 2. I just need to find the game where it has its actual manual in there without it not having it. I see the game all the time, but it doesn't have the manual most of the times. Time and Eternity. I think this was for $9.99 at one point. Got it at Game Exchange. Let's see here. Run by these fast. Assassin's Creed number two. I don't know why I don't have number one, but I have number two, and then I have Assassin's Creed Revelations. And then here, here this is the Ultimate Ninja Storm three that I was talking about before. Resident Evil six. I don't know. I probably got this spontaneously, honestly, and I still haven't removed all the sticker gunk off the bottom that I need to do. Borderlands, I tried to give this uh, a shot just for the fact that many people love this this series in general. But I kind of realized that I really, when it comes to shooters, I really like shooters that are more third-person shooters, not first-person shooters. Some of them can be an exception, but for some reason, sometimes whenever I'm doing first-person shooters, I end up getting... I start feeling sick whenever I turn my character around too fast. But from what I did play of it, it was enjoyable. It's just too bad that I couldn't really play much of it without feeling a little bit ill. That that game and also Gravity... Is it called Gravity Rush? On the PS Vita? That one too, for some reason, that was giving me, making me feel a little bit sick as well. I don't know why. That one and then also one Metroid game too that's on the Wii system. I have three games that made me feel ill. I don't know why. Uh, Uncharted number two. I don't know why I don't have number one or number three get to those eventually and then the last ones let's see here yeah yakuza 3 yakuza 4 this is a great find to be able to find both of them uh i had technically gotten the fourth one first then i got the third one and then i got the manual for the fourth one which is great trails of cold steel it was also released trails of cold cold steel 2 but then also it's out now on PS4 where it has 1 and 2 is out. Uh, and then number 3 comes out in, uh, I don't know, 1, 2, 3 months from now and so forth. So that should that will be great. And then the last ones that I'm going to leave last because they really touch my heart, guys. This These are my go-to rhythm games, which is going to be, of course, Project Diva F, Classic. Then Project Diva F 2nd. And then K on. I can't remember if it's called Hokago Live or Hokage Live, but that's the HD version. And then Idol Master 2. And that's going to be pretty much it for my uh, PS3 uh, 2019 games that I currently have in the collection. So, yeah. Uh, do you guys have any of the games that I that I showed off to you guys, or do you have any games that maybe, uh, from what I've seen here, that would mesh really well that you think with my taste that I would like that I just haven't added into my collection yet? I'd like to hear your thoughts, your opinions, and uh, I will respond back to your questions as soon as possible. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching my videos. It always makes me super happy when you do, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys!